Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the error code 1935. An error occurred during the installation of an assembly component. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I'd recommend doing would be just actually go ahead and restart your computer. So let's go ahead and actually do that first. And now we're back in Windows. Next thing you want to do is open up the search menu and type in services. Best match, you'll come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go down to the Windows installer service and double click on it. You want to start the service. So go ahead and select start and then select OK. And now attempt to install whatever program or application you have the problem with and hopefully that has resolved the issue for you. If not, you can open up the search menu, search for control panel. Go ahead and open that up, should be the best result. Say so your view by to category view, and then underneath programs, you want to select uninstall a program. And now you want to locate Microsoft Visual C++. Go ahead and left click on that. And you want to select the change button. Select the repair option and select yes. And it might ask if you want to restart your computer. I'm going to just select close and I'm going to select the other Microsoft Visual C++ application here. And I'm going to do the same procedure we did with the first one. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And then you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve the problem. One final thing we can attempt here as well, if you open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right-click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy the first one. It's the system file checker utility. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here, right-click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. And then give us a moment to run. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And then once that command is done running, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video. It's a DISM command and go ahead and run that one as well.
And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point you should have been able to resolve your problem and you should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.